Tennessee, it's pretty uniform across the board. It is a pretty conservative state. One thing that you will get used to seeing here are firearms. If you're someone who's looking to move from California to Chattanooga, Tennessee, in this video, we go over some differences that you can expect when making that move. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Evan Barron. I'm a realtor here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And on this channel, we go over all things Chattanooga, what it's like living here, what can you expect if you're moving from somewhere to Chattanooga, best neighborhoods, that type of stuff. So as much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs even more. So in any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I will be happy to help you. Now let's get into the video. All right, so right off the bat, I understand California is a massive state and there can be a lot of difference between the affordability and even the culture between the South, middle and northern part of the state. I'm going to compare Chattanooga to different parts of California, the biggest cities, and compare those two as far as affordability goes. Now some simple statistics to start you off with as far as the states go, in the category of affordability, one being the most affordable and 50 being the least affordable, Tennessee falls at 11th place, whereas California falls at 49th place right behind Hawaii. Now that's pretty crazy. Right off the bat, Tennessee is way more affordable than California. Now as far as quality of life goes, first being the best quality of life and 50th being the worst quality of life, California sits right at 50. Now Tennessee is right in the middle at 28. So I actually used to live in California. I lived in Monterey, California, which is right in the middle of the state. Uh, and, and it's right on the coast and it's so beautiful. Like, I guess if it weren't for the affordability and the politics and all that stuff, I would probably be living in California right now. In my opinion, it is the most beautiful state in the United States. Now, I have a map on screen of the United States and each state based on affordability, red being the least affordable states, green being the most affordable states. As you can see on the West Coast, California, Oregon, then we have New York. Those are the least affordable states, the most expensive states. And then in the middle of the United States in that map, uh, Tennessee is in the green, along with a lot of other of those uh, middle of the country states. Now, I don't wanna bombard you with statistics in this video. However, there is a tool that allows you to see if you are making X amount of dollars in California and you're wanting to move to a certain place like Chattanooga, Tennessee, if you're making X amount of dollars, it will tell you the amount of money that you'd need to be making to live the same lifestyle as if you moved to somewhere like Chattanooga. Now I'll leave that website down in the description, but if you're watching this video, I'm going to present these facts to you. Now, if you live in Los Angeles or around that area, if you're making $100,000 in order to be living the same exact lifestyle, then you'd only be needing to make $61,714. So to break down the numbers a little bit, basically if you have a $100 bill, then that $100 bill is only worth $61 in California. So in Chattanooga compared to Los Angeles, the cost of living overall is 38.3% lower than Los Angeles. Now in the housing market, it is 61.3% cheaper to buy in Chattanooga than Los Angeles. Now if we go just south to San Diego, if you're making $100,000, you'd only be needing to make 60, about $62,000 to live the same exact lifestyle if you move to Chattanooga. The overall cost of living is 37.4% lower in Chattanooga, and when it comes to housing, it is 59.8% lower in Chattanooga. In Sacramento, your $100,000 is only worth about $76,000. The cost of living is 23.2% lower in Chattanooga, and the housing is 37.1% lower in Chattanooga. Now this honestly surprised me. I didn't realize that San Francisco was the most expensive city in California. I thought it would be LA, but no, your $100,000 is only worth $47,000 in California. So to live that same exact lifestyle, if you're living in San Francisco, you'd only need $47,000, which is wild to me. Your money is worth less than half if you're living in San Francisco. 
So for example, if you, if you work remotely and you live in San Francisco, if you move to Tennessee, your money can go a hell of a lot further. The cost of living is 52.5% lower in Chattanooga and in the housing market, you're gonna buy a house that's 74.1% cheaper. Now the last city, San Jose, kind of where I used to live in Monterey, your $100,000 is only gonna be worth $60,144. So we're seeing a trend here. The amount of money that you make in California can literally be cut in half and you'd still be able to live the same exact way in Tennessee. The cost of living in Chattanooga is 39.9% lower and the housing in Chattanooga is 63.6% .6 lower. Now I'm gonna flash two properties on the screen here and I wanna show you what your $400,000 will get you in California versus Tennessee. Now we're gonna move on to weather. Again, California is so diverse in its geography and it's such a big state that the weather is gonna be different in different parts of the state. When I lived in Monterey, the weather was beautiful all year round. It was very mild. Uh, I know that it was pretty misty at times and it doesn't really rain often. If it does rain, it's just, it, again, it's just like mist. And that's along a coast. Now, if you're in the Southern part and you move East, then you're in the desert and it's extremely hot, but it's dry heat, so it's a little bit more bearable than the heat that you have here in Tennessee, which is very humid. You walk outside, it's like you're walking into a wall of water. It's like you're walking into a cloud. The difference between dry heat and humid heat basically is like you're drowning versus you're just really hot and you can fry an egg on the ground. Now, Tennessee has all four seasons. It has a spring, summer, fall, and winter. Right now we are in the dead of fall. We are at peak season right now. And it's definitely the most beautiful time of year. The weather is very mild. I would say for the past month and a half, we've been experiencing uh, temperatures between 50 and 75 degrees. Right now it's like 70 degrees. All the leaves are changed on the leaves and it's just a beautiful time to hang out outside. Now in the winter in Tennessee, it gets to be pretty dreary and cold. I'd say that the temperatures range between 30 degrees and 50 degrees for the next three months. And we'll maybe have one to two snow days here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now, if you go to different parts of Tennessee, like if you go more towards the mountains, you're obviously gonna have more snow because of the higher elevation. It's gonna be a little bit colder. In California, only certain parts of the state experience all four seasons. Like in the northern part, you experience all four seasons and it gets very cold. California is such a cool state because if you're living somewhere in like LA, right? It is such a busy lifestyle. And if you wanna get out, you can drive one to two hours east. You can go to Big Bear, you can go to Joshua Tree and it's super chill and the weather is completely different too. Like you can go snowboarding or skiing in Big Bear. And it's like, a, like, it's like two hours away, it's freaking awesome. Now in the summers, again, in California, it just varies from region to region. In Tennessee, it's the same throughout the entire state. It's just hot and humid. It can be miserable to some, especially if you're moving from somewhere like California and you live in a region where the weather is pretty mild all year round, then it's gonna feel pretty hot in Tennessee. You compare it to the heat in Florida, it's not quite as hot, it's not quite as humid. Like if you're moving from Florida, then the heat's definitely not gonna be as bad, but if you're used to the mild weather in California, then the heat's gonna be something that you'll have to adapt to and get used to. Let's talk about natural disasters for a second. California constantly seems to be on fire. I've heard many stories about people fleeing the state just from the fires alone, and they've had to abandon all of their things because of the wildfires. Now in Tennessee, we have the threat of tornadoes. The last tornado that we had was in 2020, so that's two years ago now, and we have one about every 10 years. Now when it comes to taxes, you're paying a lot more in California than you are in Tennessee. Tennessee has a sales tax of 7%, but it does not have a state income tax. Now if you're living in California, California has an 8.84% corporate income tax rate, and it has a 7.25% sales tax rate. So you're gonna be paying almost double in taxes if you're living in California versus Tennessee. Now when it comes to lifestyle, it's really gonna depend on where you live in California. If you live in the northern part, in the mountains, your lifestyle might not change that much because in those regions in California, 
The lifestyle is a little bit more laid back. It's a little bit more outdoorsy. People are generally a little bit more, ch more chill and laid back and it's not so busy hustle and bustle. However, in LA, people don't move to LA to chill out. People move to LA or somewhere like San Francisco to grind and to work and to make a little bit of money. Generally, it's gonna be a significantly way more laid back lifestyle than if you're moving from LA or San Francisco. Now, if you're an outdoorsy person, you live in California, I think the only thing that's gonna change with your lifestyle is just the scenery. Both states are beautiful. I think that California is obviously more beautiful and a little bit more diverse. Tennessee is pretty beautiful as well, but if you're an outdoorsy person who likes hiking, mountain biking, rock climbing, whitewater rafting, those things are also huge here in Chattanooga. So you're still able to do all of those things if you're moving from California, which is fantastic. The only thing that's gonna change is the scenery. Overall, California is a way more liberal state than Tennessee. California is liberal, Chattanooga is conservative. Now, again, I understand that California is such a big state that the culture and the politics are going, are going to differ from region to region. Like I said before, like if you're in LA, it is way more liberal than if you just travel a little bit east to Joshua Tree and Big Bear where it is a little bit more conservative. In the northern part of California, it's also more conservative than the southern part of California. So California, it differs. Tennessee, it's pretty uniform across the board. It is a pretty conservative state. One thing that you will get used to seeing here or firearms. And this is not something that you need to be afraid of whatsoever. You have to understand that Chattanooga is located in an area that's like surrounded by a bunch of rural areas. You drive 20 minutes north, east, south, and west, and you're in the woods. You're in the country. And we're kind of in the deep south, right? People are very nice here. You have this southern hospitality. No one pushes any agendas, any views, anything like that on you. Everyone here is very much free thinkers. They're like, they're kind of, they have the mindset of do your own thing, I'm gonna do my own thing, and let's not push anything upon each other. So that's kind of the mindset here. No one is gonna push anything upon you. It's not something to be afraid of. I actually feel safer knowing that there are people around me who know how to operate a firearm correctly and safely. So that's just something to think about and to be aware of. All right guys, that is the video. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below if I missed anything. Again, guys, I am a licensed realtor here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, so as much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs. If you're moving here, hit me up, contact me in any of the ways down below, and I will be happy to help. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Six times